In this video, I'll show you how to optimize the use effect hook while making API calls in it. To give you a little bit of context first, let's understand this example. It's a simple component where if I click show new post, then a new post is generated and displayed per click. In the code, I have id and text state initialized on top. The text is returned here at the bottom and the show new button has an on click that updates the id state to a random value between 0 and 100 on click. This id is added as a dependency in the use effect. So every time the button is clicked, the ID updates, triggering the use effect and calling the API which returns a new post that is ultimately stored in the text state and displayed down here. Now the issue here is, every time I click on the button, let's say I click 5 times on quick successions, then you can visibly see the text update 5 times until it reaches its final state. Now this doesn't appear so nice to look at. And also it adds load on the server because we are calling the API 5 times as well. When actually if we click a button 5 times on quick successions, then all we really care about usually is only the result returned on the last click itself. So isn't it unnecessary to call the API 5 times in such a scenario when we only care about the response returned from the last API call? It is indeed unnecessary. So to fix this, I'll use something called Abort Controller. This is a web API that allows you to abort one or more web requests as and when desired. So browsers give us this functionality itself. To show you how it works, I'll first create a new abort controller and store it in the controller variable. And then to utilize this, I can pass a second argument to fetch, which is gonna be an object. And within it, I'll pass a signal here that is coming from the controller itself. So basically, we're attaching some sort of signal or event listener to fetch. And then we can use that signal to cancel or fetch anytime we want. So use effect has a cleanup function, which runs every time you unmount the component. But in this case, we aren't unmounting the component on state change. However, this cleanup function also runs before you go for another round of that use effect. So every time the dependency is changed and a new use effect is triggered, this cleanup function is run first for the previous use effect before the new use effect is run. So in this cleanup function, I can simply return controller.abort. The abort is what allows us to cancel the fetch call when needed. So if I click the button multiple times on quick successions, the abort here will cancel the fetch call of all the previous use effects one by one except the use effect triggered for the last button click. And so now if I open the network tab and actually click the button 5 times, then as you can see, the text was updated only once for the final button click instead of getting updated 5 times for each button click as shown before. And you can see in the network tab, all the previous API requests were also cancelled or aborted one by one. So this is how you can optimize the use effect hook for API calls to minimize server load and also minimize the re-renders. That's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.